Let's talk donuts. In honor of National Donut Day, we're going to do a fun cooking activity because let's be real, who doesn't love donuts? Most children like to imitate adults, so why not take this opportunity to bring your children into the kitchen and learn important skills through cooking? There are so many different ways that you could celebrate this day with your little ones. Here are a few examples. Read about donuts. Use Play-Doh in a donut pan to make pretend donuts. Make a donut sandwich for lunch. Use a round cookie cutter just like you would to make donuts to get the donut look. Add sprinkles for more fun. Visit your favorite donut shop, whether it's Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts, Tasty Donuts, or Shipley's. Today we're going to celebrate by making easy canned biscuit donuts. This is an easy recipe and easy to customize to make child friendly. It only takes a few minutes to make. Do you think they will be better than Dunkin' Donut or Krispy Kreme? Well, maybe not, but close. So the ingredients for easy biscuit donuts. You'll need one 10 count can of Grand's biscuits or your preference, one cup of sugar, one and one half tablespoon of cinnamon, peanut oil or vegetable oil for frying. How to make easy biscuit donuts. You'll first mix the cinnamon and sugar in a small bowl and set aside for later. You'll use a small round cookie cutter to make holes in the center of your frozen biscuit dough. If you don't have a cookie cutter, you can substitute this with a jar lid. It will look the same. You'll pour a little less than half inch of oil into your skillet. Heat your oil on either medium to medium high for about five minutes so it's hot enough to instantly sear your biscuit donuts upon hitting the skillet. This prevents them from soaking up too much oil and becoming soggy. Fry your donuts in batches of two to three at a time. Each side will only take about one minute before you need to turn them over. Place them on paper towels when done. After cooling, dip both sides of the donut in your cinnamon sugar mix. You can also dip them in melted butter before adding this mixture. Don't forget to fry up the donut holes you cut out as well. Feel free to coat them in cinnamon sugar, chocolate, or frosting, whatever you prefer. And this is just shows how you can use the cookie cutter to make your donut and also the little circle inside of the donut, you can use that for donut holes. So areas of development of this activity. Cognitive development, those math and science skills. This activity engages children's thinking skills, creativity, problem solving. It allows children the opportunity to use the knowledge they have and apply it by counting, measuring, following a sequence, following directions, cause and effect, making predictions, and also observations. Improves their language skills. This is done by encouraging children to talk about what they are doing, counting, and watching materials change color, texture, and medium. Their physical development, their fine motor skills, and hand-eye coordination as they are chopping or mixing spreading and squeezing, and their social emotional development. Cooking activities help children develop confidence in themselves and also skills. Following recipes encourage children to be self-directed and independent, also teaches problem solving skills. So what are your roles in this activity? First and foremost, you need to ensure there are safety protocols to place to, in place to protect the children. Engage children in conversations, those back and forth conversations. Describe what the children are doing. They are, you are combining the cinnamon and sugar mix to make the donuts sweet. Make observations. Lastly, ask high quality questions. 
questions that get children to thinking. And this activity can be adjusted for different age ranges. It can be adjusted for mobile infants, toddlers, even preschoolers. We know for your infants and younger toddlers, you'll need, they'll need more supervision and you'll need to do, you know, do it, do help them more, provide them with more assistance. Um, you can talk to them about, you know, the recipe. You can talk to them about what they're doing, get them to help you stir. For your preschoolers, you can let them take the lead. You may wanna help them um, with the frying just for safety reasons, but let them take the lead and you are there just to support and guide them. So we would love for you to share your experience with us. You can add pictures of your donuts in the comments section below. Thank you all for joining today. I would love to stay connected. You can email me with any questions or topics you would like to learn more about. Mary at cdl.org.